Welcome to the No Excuses Show. I am Eva Eckert and I am your host. This is a powerful motivational message on how to have the No Excuses mindset. Are you looking to create better discipline, energy and confidence in your life so you can stop making excuses and take massive action in your life so you can become happier, healthier and more congruent with your mission? If yes, this show is for you. For those of you who are a badass already, and those of you who want to become a badass and learn how to apply the no excuses mindset in the main areas of your life, like mind, body, business, and also your relationships. In this show, I share real life situations, experiences, ideas on how the no excuses mindset helps me and my freak family to achieve success. By having me as your accountability coach, you will be able to finally discover the power of self-belief and self-discipline so you can stop making excuses and create the life you truly desire by being the best version of you. Will you take the necessary steps to implement what you are learning here so you can get to the next stage of your life? It's totally up to you and you only and no one else. But I encourage you today to take ownership and strive to live your life to the fullest with the no excuses mindset. Guys, so today episode number 15, episode 15, and today we'll be talking about how long-term habits create long-term results. And I'm looking into different cameras, so don't mind me that I'm here on Instagram. I'm also here on Facebook and doing these multiple things here. But I just want to make sure that if you guys posting anything and asking questions, I will be able to answer. So in episode 49, I always do a little quick recap what we were discussing. I was talking about really diastasis recti. This is something that is definitely for women, but also men suffer from it. And that was my personal story. And if you're looking to find out what it is, or you've been pregnant and you went through some similar situation, this might be perfect show for you. Something that you might find very interesting and lead you to the next level. All right. So right now I want to take you back to my university years. Some of you know that I've studied physical education in Lodz, Poland for five years. The university took five years and it was my dream come true. Actually, one of my coaches at my high school was the one that I would say kind of led me towards it based on my amazing achievements in my PE, my physical education subject. She suggested me to to actually approach this kind of uh, this kind of future because I did not know actually what to do. So I applied for the school and let me tell you, that were one of the best years of my life. I actually absolutely, when I think about it, I absolutely love it. But here comes the thing. There was a lot of challenges throughout my years. Physical education, in, in during my five years, I came across sports, that I never even thought of. I never even dreamed of, I never even understood, or, but we had to do it. As a physical education student, you had to do these different sports. And I will give you some of the examples. We had to do the javelin throw. We have to do the shot put. And I'm looking at my screen and I'm reading this and I'm honest with you. And the reason for it is because I had to even find translation of what this was. And why I made a a topic that long-term habits create long-term results is because we had swimming and we had gymnastics for a very long time. I believe that was either three years, definitely or four years of swimming. And I was a good swimmer when I went to that school but I had to learn all the other types of swimming to be able to pass these exams, like butterfly. I never swam butterfly in my life and out of nowhere, we had coaches and the coaches were pushing us for the lessons to to learn how to swim a butterfly. And in these lessons, you will find uh, really a point of discipline. What is discipline and how you can create Uh, the long-term habits that will turn your life into amazing superpower. So um, 
during these times, during we would have to learn, for instance, during the swimming lessons, we would have to learn for weeks at a time, a new style, and then the exam come, right? That's what it is at school. You learn something and then you go and you want to pass. Well, it wasn't that easy at first and I failed many times uh, in the beginning. And obviously because I was coming across challenge and I'm sure in your, in your years, if you went to school or maybe you are currently at school, you know what I'm talking about. These challenges, these things that come into your life like out of nowhere and you need to overcome them, right? So sometimes I would, it would take three times to pass the exam. But why on earth, why now we are so easy to give up these challenges? Like in life right now, as an adult, we have a problem overcome challenges. We have a problem to make a decision to go for something that is challenging. We, um, we procrastinate we we have second doubts we have second faults we don't believe in ourselves um we don't we, we constantly we battle throughout the day this hard decisions but if we only could go back to our early years and think wow this is how i was as a child or maybe this is how i was at my university uh, at university life felt so much easier because I was just going for these challenges because I'm giving you right now an example. When I had to pass these exams, it wasn't at one time. Sometimes you had to go second time or the third time if you would fail. And those are practical exams. I only remember that I, excuse me, failed one exam during my five years of university. And that was an exam that uh, uh, it was physiology. And it was a very difficult exam in person. But why are we, why were we able at school to keep on going, to come onto those challenges and continue and learn and not give up? You know why? Because you were accountable. You were accountable to your coach. You were accountable to your teacher, teacher and you knew it, that if you're not going to do it, you're not going to pass the grade. The same like with our kids, Tyson is seven, uh, Tyson is 10, Ivanka is, is seven. I almost missed her, there he is. And, and they have to continuously learning to be able to pass the test, pass the exams and go forward, right? But why right now we're not pushing to our limits? Like, did you ever have a moment that you really think of this, that your life as an adult has changed, but it doesn't need to be this way? we can we can go back and try to get the same mindset and go back to these previous years as we were going crazy and wild and we're not thinking about so many obstacles in our life but there is a one, another thing uh and I will and I will give you an example for instance uh at the gymnastic uh during the gymnastic lessons we had, I remember, Russian coaches, and I am not from Russia. Even Steve coaches tells and says to everybody that I'm from Russia, I'm from Poland. So there are two different countries, guys. And remember, Russia was divided by smaller little countries as well. We have these uh, people, we have our uh, border of different countries right now. Uh, it used to be a huge one, Soviet Union. But we're not talking about ge geography lessons right now. We're talking about uh, the gymnastic lessons. We had very strict Russian coaches, I remember. And they were gymnasts. That was their life. They were uh, very strong, powerful. They were literally going like, okay, this is what you need to do. This is the list that you need to do. They didn't care if I did not have any kind of experience in doing gymnastics. I remember we have two people in our group that were gymnasts. And the rest, they were just, some of them were athletes. Hello, how are you? Uh, some of them were athletes. Some of them were just people that wanted to study physical education. So I remember like today, the list of this impossible, because that's how I felt. I looked at the list of, um, of the coach and the coach, and I'm like, okay, those are the things. I literally look at them and I'm like, I can't do that. I've not, I, I I just... I can't imagine doing this. We're talking about 20 years ago, guys, when you when I was at my university. I remember one of the tests was standing against the wall 
and against the wall we had these wooden poles that looks like a ladder that used to be in schools i don't know if american schools would have that but i remember in elementary schools in poland we had them and they were to do all kinds of things on them climb and and stretch and and we had a variety of lessons there so you had to go against that wall lean forward bring your feet against the wall feet have to be touching that wall and this space you would have to fold yourself forward and touch with your forehead into your knees and stay in this position for a minute for one minute in a position folded like in a pretzel and i was like what the hell how can i hold a position with my nose my forehead against my knees folded all the way down hands on the floor and hold my position have you ever done anything like this i don't know go try it i'm like what are they trying to do out of us uh, folding us in different pretzels i understand that they're trying to teach us some gymnastic what 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 is this and here comes the thing look how how a powerful human mind is and how humans you we how we try to figure things out that was a literally a first few weeks at this university and i supposed to finish five years uh, of physical education we start brainstorming how we're gonna pass these crazy exams and you had a list you would choose the ones that you can but if you look at the list and the other thing is impossible it, everything starts feeling impossible you're like i can't do it so if you can't do it, you're not going to go to the next grade. This is it. And I'm like, this is my life. I need to do this. So we were trying to figure things out and look what we did. We chose the people that were good at something, at some exercises that they would literally, when the coach would call your name, they would pose as you. I mean, look how humans always try with, we looking, humans are looking for easy like think about it we all look for the easy way to do something and life is not like this life throws us these curveballs these snowballs and you need to dodge you almost need to uh, feel like a gladiator if you have ever watched these old movies we start watching spartacus again i mean the way how they had to train and how they had to survive in the arena was crazy so that's how human ability is and i wanted to point this out to you that you can do it guys no matter what so we start that was our idea that if we're gonna get someone else the coach doesn't know who you are they have 90 people to worry about let's throw someone else for you to do this test and let me tell you what it is it's cheating it's not only cheating the coach it's disgraceful it's cheating yourself it's just bad and I did it. And I, I am, I am, I am uh, guilty of it because we, we, we all did it and I did it. And I remember I did it twice. And after that, I was like, I can't do this. I cannot be like this. This is wrong. This is wrong. This will not, first of all, lie has short legs. The truth comes out sooner or later. Let's be honest. Anything, think about it. If you we're cheating something or someone the truth comes out eventually lie has short legs it will catch on you the universe has a way of giving the good into good and giving the bad if it's bad so instead of thinking what can i do to become better uh, at that point i was like you know it's it's it's, it's a hard time so i i was like okay I have to switch my thinking. I have to switch my attitude. But nobody told us this. Because I was like, okay, this is not going to go. This is not going to last that long. So the attitude was everything. And my attitude before was like getting uh, resistant, uh, being angry, uh, kind of like, why do they need to teach us this? Like with this attitude. And nobody, we didn't have lessons at school. And that's what I think this lesson should be even nowadays for kids and older kids and uh, that attitude is everything when you change your attitude the perception how you do things you find something that you like and and maybe ask for help and ask questions you will be able to overcome it but 
a lot of times we adults have a tendency to like if somebody corrects us we get angry or resentful or we need to say something not nice but that's not the way we should we should be and we should be acting so i am guilty of it and that's i had a hard time in the first year because of my way of doing things so uh, this th this actually this whole idea of this, today's episode was like i'm going to give you guys ideas and i'm going to give you guys lessons how i was and how this can overall improve and change your perception and how you look at things that are hard. The difficulty is for us to embrace it and act upon. That's what it is. Like these curveballs, these difficult things that are thrown into us, it's like, okay, how can I, how can you do better? How can I do better? What is that that you need to change? What what are these failures like that you've done that you that don't work? For me, this particular thing didn't work because I would never be able to survive three years. I had to learn ways to do it right. So what I did, as far as the gymnastic goes, I started practicing. I started coming more often on days that I was free and practice and meet with someone and meet with another coach, meet with another student. And through practice, I was able to do it through repetition, through consistency, through discipline, I was able to overcome this challenge. And I passed these exams, right? The same was with swimming. Do you know, did you know that you can actually sweat while swimming? Did you know that you can actually experience sweating? If you've never done a 60 minutes of a high intensity training in water, I strongly recommend, I strongly recommend you to do it because you're going to experience sweating. I've never had a clue about it that I actually had to do an exam. We had to perform 60 minutes of nonstop swimming in order to pass the exam. And there was another challenge, 60 minutes. Remember, there is only the way when you go to the end of the pool, and those are Olympic pools, Olympic size, you are either flip and push your legs on come to the end, push yourself off. So there are only a ways you couldn't stop. You couldn't hold on. You had to, you had to swim nonstop for 60 minutes. And through this challenge, I remember experiencing sweating, experiencing, um, a high amount like an almost anxiety i had to regulate my breathing and this is comes another point when those challenge comes you need to breathe you need to take a moment and pause and assess the situation it's like okay being hyper and crazy it's not gonna help me with anything being calm and consistent will give me a longer and better results right so look what is difficult in your life right now what or who you are not being honest with. This is very important. Are you dishonest with yourself about something? Are you dishonest with someone too? This is Those are good questions, guys, to answer. And in times of a challenge, like I was challenged, this gymnastic, this swimming and other lessons, embrace the suck factor. Embrace the fact that you're going to suck with something. Embrace the fact that it's uh, not even difficult, that you just like almost don't fit in. And you need to play the long game and learn how you can become that person for that moment. And we all can. So we covered a good, 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 good amount of good stuff here. So make sure you're watching this video from the beginning answering those questions because you see i see through coaching life right now is that these patterns or behavior always haunt us until the pattern of behavior is broken and it's replaced with something else habits we can say that are good and they're bad if you don't want to use that word you can think habit is something that it's learnable you learn how to brush your teeth. You didn't learn how to swallow food. It's automatic. There are habits that are automatic that our bodies on its own. The subconscious mind corrects it like breathing, digesting. It's not us. We don't control this. But what we control 
are what time we get up. Uh, do we do we take care of ourselves or we don't? Do you brush your teeth or you don't? Do you take a shower or you don't? Do you eat healthy or you don't? Habits that are repeti repetitive throughout the day. And the same goes, those are like good habits, right? How you uh, react to stress. There are ways of learning, right? Or how you speak. Some people constantly will say, oh, I don't know, I'm not sure, um, and like these things can be corrected, right? As long as you're mindful, as, you, as long as you pay attention to those things, to these things. The habits can be corrected, guys. Think about it. If your habit is to binge at nighttime or your habit is to overeat at nighttime, is because most likely you didn't eat enough throughout the day. It's most likely it's you you accustomed yourself to binging at nighttime because there are certain events through your out that cause you to act like this. But if you start, if you pause and you're gonna say to yourself, okay, enough is enough. I'm gonna do things different way. Let me change absolutely everything. You start being mindful, more intentional about your day, about your things. You start getting up early, you start exercising, you start eating food more often. And then when times comes at nighttime, you're like, I don't need to binge. I have a good food. I can eat normally. The same with maybe not exercising. It's the same thing. You stop exercising or you've never done exercises. And now maybe you feel like your body is not as good as it used to be. You don't have the same flexibility. You don't have the same tonality in your body no tone at all you start feeling flabby and jittery and not good about yourself and yes we say these things because we should be saying straight as it is we shouldn't be covering up these things we are humans we are not perfect and so you start feeling these changes and and but you don't go to the gym you don't work out you don't have a habit of creating the non-negotiable for your life yet but once you're going to do this, once you're going to take this approach and say, you know what, I have to work out. This is it. I have to do this daily because if I work out, I'm going to have a better resting metabolic rate. I'm going to have a better metabolism. I'm going to tone my body. I'm going to tone my upper body, lower body. I'm going to feel better. I'm going to have a great energy. I'm going to have a better confidence. I'm going to show up in my life in a better, in, as a better human. I'm going to be a better mother, father, sister, friend. Whatever your roles are in your life, you're going to become better. But that's, again, look how it requires certain intention. It requires thought. It requires that internal power that every single person has. So what is it that I see sometimes, and I see, and I, I told you those are patterns. I see people wanting to change. They're being approached by so many things, emails, um, calls, and they still stuck in the pattern of, of, of something negative. Uh, they don't believe in themselves. That self-belief is so low. That self-worth is so low that they just can't get up. But who's going to wake you up and school? Who's going to shake you? It's only you that can do it. It's really up to you. It, it, this is your life. This is like we are walking powers of energy. Our body, did you know that if you would scan our body, you would see the illumination of your body? Like it's an energy. We are energy molecules. We have them in our body. We glow. That's what it is. Every person, because what happens is like the energy really, the energy goes away if we die. There is no more energy, but the energy is light right now. So use the energy in a good way. Work out daily. Create something. Be mindful be good like you have the powers within you so what is it you stuck and you and you and you want that mediocre life that you cannot get better you cannot lose weight you cannot achieve something what is it why because you allow the negative thoughts to come into your brain and you see how the subject goes one into another habits long-term habits create long-term results why the implementation in gymnastics gave me a great foundation for my fitness. I've been doing fitness since then. I mean, more. 
It's been 25 plus years since I've been in the fitness industry. Swimming, I love swimming. Till that day, I can teach my kids. We swim all the time. It's fun. Swimming is great. It, the, the habit of doing something consistently. I will tell you one more story from my university because it's almost time for me to run. I had, a, I had a turn ligament in my leg and the time came for us to pass the exam of hurdles. And if I didn't pass this exam, I would, I would, uh, I would, the coach would say bye-bye to me. So it took me time to recover the leg. Hello and thank you for the, for the hearts. It took me time to recover the leg because pulling a ligament is not an easy thing. It's not an easy recovery. But I knew it that I have to train these hurdles to pass. And these hurdles were not low. They were like up, a little bit above your knee. And I knew it that by me showing up once the cast was off, spending time with my coach, showing my coach, proving my coach that I can do this, that I'm training, that I'm putting my time, that I'm putting my dedication, that I'm putting my mindfulness, I'm being present, that I can do it, that this is my work, that I will be able to do this. And that's what happened, guys. But I remember it was the first lesson because if you can't do something, because you can't do, the energy from universe is sent to you that, okay, you can't do, so you start believing in that. It goes into your subconscious mind and then you start thinking that everything, well, you can't do anything. But that's not true. There are things that you can do well and there are things that you cannot do well, but we can work on them and become better with them right? So this story was representation of even things, even things that I was never good at. I was not a like athletic person. I never studied this part. I was able to, to overcome these hurdles, run through them and pass the exam. Why? Because I was consistent. Consistency builds those great habits in the long term. And in the beginning of my of my video today, I ask you guys some good questions and I wanted to ask you again, why is it so easy to give up now as an adult? Why human nature wants that easy thing, easy way out, instead of thinking, becoming better, changing your attitude? What is difficult now in your life? What you need to overcome? What, what are the really factors that pull you in? You feel like you are stuck. It starts here, the headquarters. We are like a robot. This is the navigation system right here. Your head, your head, your head, your mind. Even if we think it's one mind, but it's divided by two pieces. The subconscious mind and the conscious mind. The objective one. And once you're going to get educated on this and learn a little bit, it will become easier for you to understand that we fed ourselves daily with the negativity. So there are ways, there are habits to beat the negativity, to replace it with positive stuff. Even though life can be hard and it's hard for a lot of us. Some people have really difficult time right now and we need to all step up and help them. We need to get united and do whatever it takes to spread the goodness and show as an example. If you're good with something and you can help with someone, reach out. That's what we got good at. We are good as coaching people. Me and the freak, that's what we do. We raise and we help and we raise the ambitions of people. And I know that you can do the same. So to, de to develop the long-term habits, I'm going to give you a list for the long-term results. You can write this down or you can repeat or you can uh, save this video somewhere uh, and keep on telling yourself that you can do this. What is number one? It's the repetition. Repetition is the key to mastery. Even though at, at the level that you think that you're so great, there is always another level. So almost when you get to that point, there is, and you're gonna be like, wow, there is another level. I can achieve something more. Number two is conditioning. Conditioning yourself to repeating these, these things over and over again. 
like conditioning with me and swimming, conditioning with repetition constantly. Number three is consistency. People break consistency all the time. And it just blows my mind when something works so well and somebody will allow negativity to enter their mind and they just let it go. Consistency. When you consistent, when you have a built a system, a core of habits that will become a second nature to you, it feels it will feel very strange for you to remove yourself from these habits. So you got to implement those habits so good in you, these good ones, that will act as a strong armor like the gladiator on the ring inside the arena. That's how you're going to feel. You're going to feel more powerful. But if you don't have a consistency, how can you feel powerful? If you're just sporadic and you wake up in all these different times and you have no agenda for the day, you just like let the wind blow through your, through your room and let the wind blow through your desk at work and you just go from one thing to the next. It's not going to get anywhere. The same with your food. You need to be consistent. You need to have a plan. Number four, being mindful, being present. Like... If you realize that you spend so much time on social media scrolling down or nonstop answering to people's emails, catch yourself on it. Or maybe you are not being mindful and present with what you eat at work. Maybe you not take the half an hour break that you should. And yes, you should be taking breaks, guys. You should be taking. By the way, in Poland, kids have 45 minutes lessons and they have five minutes break. So it's not like it's constant learning for a few hours, nonstop. So we need to think about it. Take a break, take a break from your busy day, take constant breaks, remove yourself from the computer, take a walk, go outside, glaze in the sun, uh, take a water break, do something that will get your mind to be fully present. Because if you're working for a long period of time, you become kind of you, you can accomplish the task i'm saying i'm not saying that you can't like if you have a two block hour window good but you finish one task don't go and start working on the next task because you bring the same energy and you may be tired so remove yourself hi pam and go and kind of reboot yourself reboot yourself meaning like step away take a deep breath in and set the mindfulness and the intention to something new Number five, stay determined. Remember, those are that's how you're going to develop these long-term habits. Stay determined. Whatever your goal is, even if it's hard, go for it. Okay, look, we had, I will give you an example. It took me 365 days almost to build an online platform for workouts. It was mind-blowing, difficult thing because I had to do it completely on my own. I had to learn the system, to download these videos, to do this stuff on my own. At that time, I had to build the whole system, so it's put it together. It wasn't the first hard thing that I've done in my life. It was one of the hard things. And, and, and I had a moment like, do I really need that? Is it necessary? Maybe I should, I should quit. I had those moments. All of us had them. But then more I would figure out the way, the things that are difficult for me and more I've realized that people need it and I am in service of people and people now using in tremendous amount. We benefit from right now and people benefit from this in an incredible way. It helped me. Like you need to kind of revision your, your mission. Like what is your why? Why you need to do the things that you do? Because again, people need to lose weight constantly. Uh, and, and, and they're on a path of wanting but not doing anything. Like they don't, there is a disconnection from why. Like if you cannot zip up your freaking pants and your blouse is tight or you start wearing a baggy clothes, wake the hell up. It's time to do something about it. What do you want to die? You will die if you're not going to take care of it. You have to lose the weight. Isn't that enough that you can't pull up your pants? Isn't that enough? Isn't that enough that your kids are afraid to take you or introduce you to your to their friends because you feel you are overweight? There are wake up calls, and sometimes it it can be so difficult to even hear for people. It can be hurtful, but 
A good coach will tell you this. Wake the hell up. This time, you're going to waste your life and you're going to die. And you need to take this. You need to absorb this. Take the feedback. Stop being like, oh, okay. Uh, you know, people get so defensive all the time. Stop. Like, it's the truth. You need to do something about it. And don't, please. People say, oh, I can't. Some people say, I can't afford it. I can't do that. This is a state of mind. If you can't afford it, you want. If you want to afford you will. Simple as that. It's so easy. Because you're going to take the money and then you're going to go and spend on things that you shouldn't. Instead of your health. And I know this from a fact. I've been in this business for a long time. Lose your ego. That's number six. When I was at my university, I told you guys. The resistance. The anger. You know, why they need to do this? What is this? Why do I need to do this? That was a challenge, but nobody freaking explained it to me. You came to university. You're gonna, you're stepping into adulthood. You're gonna have some difficulty. This is not gonna be easy. This is a difficult five years for you. So you better zip up and buckle up and start going. And it's so funny because a lot of times, we had people, you know, I study physical education and sometimes we would have these meetings or go to an area there were other students and the marketing students that would be like, oh, the physical education is just party. All the time they party, they just do their exercises. In the meantime, they did not know that we were folded in pretzel for a minute and your head for forehead was touching your knees for a freaking minute. People have assumptions and things that they know the best. But in the meantime, that was much more difficult that, that what they were doing. We, were, we had an aspect of mental and physical difficulty. We were facing hours of mental and physical stress every freaking day. That's what it was. So when, when, when I was at, at my first year, if I only knew to change the attitude, if I only knew to look, it's a challenge, embrace it, suck just go for it. It's going to be okay. That would have been much better. So we got to lose that ego. Number seven, enjoy the journey. You will not like everything, but you're going to like something. So find something that you like. And even the unlikable things, you can like it too if you're going to start doing them better. Eight, be honest with yourself. Don't freaking cheat like I did. And I gave you an example. That was my honest thing. Don't fucking cheat. It's nasty. You can't do it. And it's going to, it has short legs. It's going to come out. Nine, number nine, dissect your failure. You need to dissect it. Like you fail something. In my exams, I felt I, I, I made mistakes. Even now when we fail, we got to kind of look, okay, what can I do to get better? What do I need to do to overcome this? Why did I fail in the first place? And what actions I need to take better to better myself? How can I improve? What I need to stop doing this is another thing because we always wanted to go, go, go. What is the next thing that I need to do? Okay, but where is the thing? Stop. Stop. Talk to the hand. Like the Arnold Schwarzenegger was like, talk to the hand. Uh, stop certain things. Like sometimes we do those things and it doesn't get us results. So you need to... Like I gave you an example, binging. Maybe Netflix, it's a trigger for you. Maybe going to movies, it's a trigger for you because you buy a popcorn. And I talk about the triggers in my new course, 360 Nutrition, that it's coming up. So there are things that you need to think. What do I need to stop doing? Maybe in your business, maybe your life, maybe your relationship. There are things that you need to stop doing today. 10, get comfortable being uncomfortable I was freaking uncomfortable but I had to get comfortable with the uncomfortable so I can go to the next level 11 create your own system your system that works for you the good coach will direct you and lead you but right? you're gonna find your own system okay so believe in you that self-belief and self-worth is so important nobody will be me I'm not gonna be you you are different we are all different we are all unique. We can take the bits and pieces from someone. But the way how I'm making this video, it's not going to be repeated by anybody else. Pam would make the video would be totally different. Suk Suksin would make the video would be different because he would be talking about different things. That's how life is. So embrace it. 
12. Action. The most important thing out of all of it is action, guys. You need to take action. You need to take action. Without action, there is nothing. People ask questions and this and that. They want it and they don't take action. And they are exactly in the same spot like they were a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. And who's going to shake them up? They need outside someone to grab them and they tell them like, listen, you got to wake up. You've been in the same spot as before. What are you doing? The life keeps on going, but you are in the same stuck moment. And this moment has to, you got to let go. 13, follow your coach. Ask good questions. Be curious. Good coach has great intentions for you and they will be there to guide you, to lead you so you can actually figure it out on your own. It's Yes, you can get the answers, of course, but I think the whole idea is to answer these good deep questions. So you can answer them and you're going to be like, ooh, epiphany, now I found my gold here, right? My diamonds. And... At the end, guys, I just want to invite you all for the FM40, Freak Mode 40, that we've worked, listen, the knowledge that is in these courses that are already released is unbelievable. We spent over 20 years putting it together. The knowledge that we have, the, I, the, the, the knowledge behind coaching and our expertise, it, you can't put a price on it. And I always say, like, what, what's going to happen if you're not going to do this? If you're not going to take this challenge, if you're not going to take the next step, if you're not going to take this opportunity, what's going to happen with you? How your life's going to look like? Uh, and 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 this sometimes is an eye-opening statement for many. So join us at the FM40 because all these habits that you need now, especially now, the world has shifted. It's different. It will never be the same. You need to learn something that will it give you a peace of mind that will give you the positivity that will embrace you, embrace your superpowers. Like I always tell you guys, every person is their own awesome freak self superhero. All of you have the wings, so spread them wide, fly high, get the energy that you need and let the wings bring you to your destination. And that's the beauty of life. That's the beauty of life. Like the, who knows what's the biggest bird on earth? These biggest, this, the, the biggest birds on earth. Do you know that when they did the studies, these birds sometimes would flap their wings just one, once throughout miles and miles of flying. So that's like you, you can do the same, but you need sometimes that a lifting factor. You need somebody to lift you and guide you and have maybe tools that you can use them and mold them the way how you want to mold them towards you, your own self. So with this said, Freak Mode, Freak Mode 40 is there. New courses are coming up and being released. Watch our YouTube channels. Watch our Facebook. YouTube, um, YouTube is, is amazing. You can find a lot of information on YouTube. All our videos are there. You can click on the links on any YouTube videos right now and sign up for the Freak Mode 40 challenge. So it's everywhere, guys, everywhere. With this said, thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you got some good value, good content here. I will talk to you soon. No excuses.